vocab Malone, Acts 17 and 30, is referring to Israelite foreigners scattered abroad. With that being said, I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to you. How about Shimmy Amashai, Baha Shem Rabbachakwadash, double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me the truth, singing honors to the elect, peace and blessings be to all the censored men, women, and children that do consist of the one third. Shalom, Shalom. Um, <clears throat> kind of doing this raw a little bit, but woke up this morning and through the spirit of the apostle Gabar did a video, a couple other brothers did a video. I was compelled to do a video myself, and the spirit hit me because it really makes a lot of sense when you read the context. Like people like to say today, you're taking it out of context. No, we're going to read it with the text surrounding that one passage. Like people like to throw out John 3 16, but what about John 3 14? John 3.15 Alright, but nonetheless though Let's get to it You gotta remember, Paul When you're reading the book of Acts He was going to all different types of provinces in Rome You know, um, Bithynia Pontus uh, Cappadocia Galatia Colossus uh, Thessal Thessalonica Corinth Rome all over right so this is acts 17 23 to 30 for as i passed by and beheld your devotions now you got to read precepts before this i want to make this too long but precepts before this he's talking to jews israelites right i found an altar with this inscription to the unknown god whom therefore ye ignorantly worship him declare i unto you right him declare i unto you one moment, please. Hearken. Hebrews 2 and 11. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one. That reminds me of John the 17th chapter. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the church while I sing praise unto thee. Okay? Declare the name unto the brethren. Keep that word brethren in your psyche. Okay? Keep that word brethren in your psyche. Now, continuing. Acts chapter 17, verse 24. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, Neither is worship with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. Summing up, the Lord not inside these churches. Your body is the church. 1 Corinthians 3 and 9 and 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse like 17 on, 16 on down. All right. Now, listen to this. Verse 26. How come you didn't say this one? Vocab and have made if he did because I don't wrong really watch I just listen to what the elders and the brothers say and have made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and hath determined the times before appointed in the bounds of the habitation because Esau have a bound he cannot pass now it says and have made of one blood of all nations of men so see God cares for everyone but y'all come from Calm down. Listen to this. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Let's find out who the Lord's chosen is. Isaiah 44 and 1. Beautiful. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. So yeah, we all come from Adam, but the Lord has a chosen seed, which is the nation of Israel. Okay. Continuing on in 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Not for all, for our sakes. 
As for the other people, that's what that's what a heathen is. A heathen is anyone not of the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, also known as Gentiles, which our people have become Israelite foreigners, Israelite mind um, Gentiles. Forgive me, Gentile minded Israelites because they took on the customs of the other nations. But that does not mean that they're no longer Israelites because they are Israelites by blood. Okay, continuing. Verse 56, as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So if you're carrying buckets of water across the field, the water that, sp that spills out of the bucket unto the dry ground, that's the heathens. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathens which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So when you go back to Acts chapter 17, verse 26, yes, the Lord made all nations of Adam, but he has a chosen seed. And even Esdras, who was Ezra in the Old Testament, said that you are reputed as nothing. In the book of Isaiah it says the same thing. You have been reputed as nothing. All right. Continuing. Verse 27. That they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him and find him though he be not far from every one of us. Us. For in him we live and move and have our being as certain also of your own poets have said. For we are also his offspring. Offspring. Okay, let's go into that word um, offspring. The word offspring, genos, Strong's G1085. Kindred, offspring, family, stock, tribe, nation, nationality, or descent from a particular people. The offspring. The offspring, once again, right? A tribe, a nation, certain people. Now let's go to Romans chapter 9, verse 1 through 7. I say the truth in Mashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Here comes the point. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Mashiach for my brethren. Remember Hebrews, the second chapter, right? My brethren, my kinsmen. Remember, you know how you know how folks in the South say, hey, that my kinfolk. <laughs> they still say that to this day. My kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. <laughs> to whom pertaineth the adoption? Not all in the glory, not all and the covenant, which is a promise, pretty much a contract. And the Lord is not a man that he should lie. It's a covenant. He never broke the covenant. The new covenant is pretty much like the old covenant, but the old covenant is done away with. Why could the Lord going to put the laws in our inward parts? Ain't nothing new except for these bodies we're going to get soon. Right. And the, the status and the. The authority over the earth. That's what's going to be new. A fresh. Kind of. Mm. And the giving of the law. And that's going to go right back into Acts 17 to 30. Remember the law which was given to Israel. Right? The law which was given to Israel. Keep that in mind people. Alright? And the service of God and the promises. Promises can't be broke. So like it. the Lord not gonna break his promise. So what makes you think you have any dealings with us ruling in the kingdom? Continuing. Whose are the fathers, and of whom as concerning the flesh Mashiach came, who is over all God blessed forever among. Not as though the word of God have taken none effect. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Even the scriptures say that listen here, man. They're not all Israel, which are of Israel. Verse 7. Neither, because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children. Ooh, that's a cut. But in 
Isaac shall thy seed be called. And Isaac shall thy seed be called. Isaac. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, Abraham's first son was who? Ishmael. Which would be the forefather of the Saudi Arabians today. They don't get that blessing, that promise, that covenant. The nation of Israel from the seed of Isaac. Read Genesis chapter, I think it's 28. Okay. Now, going back to Acts, we're going to close out. This is Acts chapter 17, verse 29. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, the children of Israel, the sons of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. Once again, he's talking to the nation of Israel. Because remember, they made a bust talking about to the unknown God. He said, I come to declare that. And then I went to Hebrew, the second chapter where Yahweh shall say he would declare his name to his brethren. This is Paul still speaking in Acts 17. Then when you go to Acts 9, the ninth chapter, he said, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, the offspring of God, who are Israelites. Vocab, stop it. It's looking pitiful right now. You can fool the minds of these gullible modern day Christians, but the men of the Lord are here. The prophets are here to teach. Started with the elders of Great Millstone on down. All right. <clears throat> Verse 30, he comes to point. In the times of this ignorance, meaning that you, you didn't know, God winked at. But now command of all men everywhere to repent. Now they hear all men, right? Like it says in Acts the second chapter, and it says, Ye men of Israel hear these words right after. What is going to the word repent? Right here is metan metanoia. Metanoia. Forgive me for the pronunciation. To change one's mind to repent. To change one's mind for better, heartily to amend with abhorrence of one's past sins sins first john three and four what is sin to transgress the law who was given the law we read it in romans the ninth chapter the nation of israel so only the nation of israel can sin so if, if you only can sin that means that you can only repent stop it stop it and read a little bit more on the Strong's and I'm going to close out. Repentance, change of mind, involves a turning with contrition from sin to God. The repentant sinner is in a proper condition to accept the divine forgiveness. Divine forgiveness. Wow, that reminded me of something. Matter of fact, as it said, forgiveness. Let me close out with this precept. And call her loving like Yahweh by Shem Yahushai for the Rabbachah Dash. Now, we're still in the same book, which is called Acts. <laughs> Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Remember divine forgiveness, right? Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up, Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel, did I say all men, and forgiveness of sins. Repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Vocab Malone, aka Vocab, won't leave us alone. Sir, this is a you're swimming upstream, sir. You're trying to shake hands with the hurricane. You're trying to go deep diving in a volcanic eruption. It's not going to turn out good. With that being said, I pray y'all's edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamash Allah. Bofla Babal. Shalom. Salute.